A real estate company is making safety changes today after one of its employees was attacked by a man with a stun gun. The man's now charged with attempted sexual assault. CBS News Jim Williams is live in Tinley Park with what they're going to do differently now. Jim. Brad, real estate agents will tell you they are often nervous working an open house alone. Now one company is putting an end to that practice after what happened here over the weekend. That's a huge event, that's for sure. A traumatic crime here at this Tinley Park townhouse development near 181st in Oak Park. A female real estate agent was attacked while working an open house alone Sunday afternoon. Her fellow agents and friends, Jessica Baum and Laura Aremus. I think she's really shaken up and it hasn't really sunk in yet at this point. 50 year old Stanley Keller faces multiple charges, including attempted aggravated criminal sexual assault and unlawful use of a weapon by a felon. The alleged weapon, police say, a stun gun. She says she felt a vibration in her back which caused her to, to turn and run away. Keller, convicted of armed robbery 30 years ago, police say, was arrested at the house. Later, at the police station. One of the, uh, the detectives discovered that uh, a unused, unsoiled condom had fallen from his right pant leg. We uh, contacted the assistant state's attorney and they approved charges. According to a recent survey by the National Association of Realtors, 44% of female real estate agents say they have feared for their safety. Now, Baum and Aremus, managers at Coldwell Banker, tell us the company is taking new steps, including safety classes and no more single agent open houses. You can prepare for it, but you don't think about it on an everyday basis when you're out showing houses or doing open houses. It should be in the back of every realtor's mind. The alleged offender Keller is held on a $1 million bond. Live in Tinley Park, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.